All right, Ben, we were going to draw seasonal waifus. Ben, how much seasonal anime are you watching? I'm watching a lot more than usual. I mean, it, it, I'm watching what Mob Psycho. I'm watching Chainsaw Man. I'm, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is more than usual. Um, yeah, it's all two more than usual. Yeah, I, I guess. Well, this is this is a fucking packed ass season of shows because uh, Chainsaw Man coming out, Mob Psycho, uh, R.I.P. to the voice actors they killed. Um, yeah, it's really weird. To I was, I thought, I, when, out <laughs> so I, I thought they were just getting fired. I didn't think they were going to put them in like an actual gladiator arena and force them to fight to the death. <laughs> I, when I heard that, I was like, oh, that's a funny joke. You know, Twitter being, you know, so funny and all. I didn't expect they'd actually do it. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I guess fought that, to the death, uh, you know, he found glory at least. You well, know, I was going to say, I mean, this is what happens when you don't have unions, <laughs> uh, because I heard that the person who won the match didn't even get the prize money. If there was a union. The gladiator who won that battle would have gotten more more apples or whatever the prize was. <laughs> I think that, yeah, that's how they paid them, right? Yeah, I mean, at least he, you know, uh, the guy who voices Mob, I forget his name, but, you know. He, Johnny Mobs. That jo <laughs> Jonathan Mobs. He found glory. He, uh, you know, managed to rip, rip out Todd Habercorn's heart and eat it. Um, and so he. Oh, that was Todd thing. Habercorn. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, he, he he's a lot stronger now, and I'm sure that... <laughs> he has his love now. <laughs> he's now able to voice wimpy protagonists even better. Excellent. And, uh, and of course, Carver Fur was not... Was uh, Tome. Big to we're big Tome fans here. Big Tome fans. We're big Tome fans here, so it's good to see Carver Fur, uh, who weirdly wasn't asked to fight to the death in an arena. Um, yeah, I thought it happened. A bit of a... Uh... Bit of a suspicious circumstance. You think there, there was a little bit of nepotism? I think so. Mm, interesting. I'll write, I'll write this down in my, my, my journal. Where I'm, I'm actually, so I'm, I, I guess I have to tell you, now, I'm a detective and I'm investigating this. <laughs> uh, that's why I've always had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you keep waiting. That's why I've around. always showed up with a gun. Whenever we so record. Whenever that's, we record. That's, that's why Caden's not always, here. And, He's... I, and I always have the. The, if you notice, I wear the Sherlock Holmes hat. <laughs> Listen, That's, I wasn't going to call yeah, it out. It's like, I, you know, I was waiting for you guys to mention it, that I'm always wearing a Sherlock Holmes hat and carrying a gun. And You know, I didn't want, I just, it, it you know, it's a bold fashion choice, and a lot of people feel self-conscious if the, if that's brought to a, to, the, to the attention. I didn't know you were expecting a compliment. Yeah, so you're drawing Nami, and uh, I it, it, I was gonna say what seasonal wife was are you watching? Because I, I I forgot that you're actually watching shows this season. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, oh, your seasonal wife who is Nami from One Piece because you don't watch anything, but <laughs> yeah. you are watching at two shows. That's which, what you were going for. Okay, that's yeah, what I was going I'm for. Glad I, I'm I glad gonna, I derailed that. I was trying to shit on you, <laughs> essentially, and I was I was I was. Happily defeated. As you should. I mean, anyone who doesn't watch season it, seasonal anime is, is kind of a, a chump and a fool. You know what? I usually think it's worthless, but uh, there's enough that I'm... Oh, good to sneeze. I feel a sneeze coming. Uh-oh. I think I've, I've suppressed it, much like my Vietnam memories. <laughs> um, but I also want to point out that you Googled Nami to get a reference for this. And never and, once looked at it. <laughs> I, well, I was going to say, well, you got the National Alliance of Mental Health. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The National Alliance of Mental Illness. Yeah, and Nami. AMI. Yep. Dreaming, don't give it up. <laughs> Nami! They yeah. should use that as their, like, in commercials. Dreaming, don't give it up. Nami! <laughs> and it gets you... It's so... Like, everyone with mental illness is like, you know what? It's free. No one's gonna I, come after I copyright on that. I won't give it up. <laughs> that's what mentally ill people sound like. They say, I won't give it up. That's what all of them sound like. That's, every that's what single I sound one. like. <laughs> it is... It is, uh... uh despite being October, getting noticeably hot in here. Yeah, uh, I think, do we have the AC? Like the AC we don't, warm. because it, we don't, but we, sh we should have it on. Uh, you can leave that in, by the way. I think that's <laughs> worth mentioning. Yeah, um, people need to know our AC situation. People should, people so should can... know the, the warmth. Yeah. Uh, but with uh, seasonal white foods, we were, I was talking about, I think it would have been great and very uh, marketable if we drew people from Chainsaw Man and you have read all of, most of Chainsaw Man, I think. Yeah, but uh, the weird thing but is I, I read I, it all in one go, and so I like a lot of it just fell out of my memory. Well, and then I've not read and only watched the first episode. So I would love to be part of a very marketable Chainsaw Man video, but I have literally nothing to contribute. I would, if you asked me to draw my my Chainsaw Man waifu, I would draw Puchita, and I'd be like, look at him. Pu pu Puchita. Is it, is it Puchita? Is it's it po Pochita. Pochita. But I like Puchita as the Americanized like, version. That's my yeah, in my in my localized dub. <laughs> uh, 
uh, in my Chainsaw Man dub that edits out all the violence. <laughs> Easy task. Uh, yeah, the first episode is only like a minute. Um, <laughs> he's wearing the eye patch because he has pink eye. Oh, we need to actually make that. We, what? Let's just make a TikTok what? out of it. We can do four kids <laughs> Chainsaw Man. Yeah. yeah, and it's short enough to be a TikTok. It's perfect. Uh, he just wanted to be a lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the reason he became Chainsaw Man is because he his uh, his life goal was to be a lumberjack. Yeah, in our in our dub, he's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a we're gonna get the guy that voiced Brock from Pokemon, and he's gonna do a uh, a really hokey Canadian accent. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> if only we could. What's a, what does a Canadian accent sound like? If only we could get Tim Hortons, eh? Yeah. <laughs> him and, that's him and Poochie Day on the, when they're in the bed and they're like talking about how they want food. He's like, if only we could get oh, Tim man. Hortons, eh? I really wish we could afford Timbits. Yeah. <laughs> that's the dream. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to play, I, he doesn't want to play video games with a girl. I just want to watch the Red Green Show with a girl. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> I just wanted to have a normal life where I could <laughs> eat maple syrup on toast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Fre <laughs> French toast. <laughs> you know, Pochita, I hear that. <laughs> I hear that uh, it's a lot of people have French toast with the with the maple syrup on it. These hockey players are so mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the Yakuza yeah, are. Yeah, they're well. hockey players. I'm <laughs> 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 like Yoshi. <laughs> I, I like conveying a plush as a, a soulless uh, doofus. Remember how earlier I said we it's getting hot in here and we, we shouldn't edit it out of the video because it might be relevant? Yeah. I am very sweaty and I can... <laughs> Uh, if, if you want to keep drawing, I just want to put the air conditioner on. I <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. So not only, <laughs> not only was the air not on, but the heat was on. So it was, That's what I was wondering. Yes, it was very hot. Uh, <laughs> I also think I was the one who put it on. You might have been, yeah. I'm not doing any anatomy for this, so it's going to look weird, but... Okay. Boob needs to go here, and the Yoshi arm needs to go here. I was, um, <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about the person who played Meowth doing, uh, Puchita, and then I saw that they died and thought that might be distasteful. I just thought they'd have, I'd, it'd be funny if he talked like Meowth. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't be Denji, I guess he'd be Dennis or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love yeah, lo the localized fucking... names. Yeah. Localized name for Makima is, uh, Marianne. Oh, uh, <laughs> who? I mean, I I've only seen one episode of Chainsaw, uh, Chainsaw Man. I'm sorry to specify. Uh, my brain shut off for a second there while I was talking. Um, yeah. I think I'm trying to remember what the characters' names are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's there's Power. Well, I guess which I guess is uh Power. I guess Power would be like uh uh. I mean, she, if that's not a Japanese name. I think they'd probably keep that, wouldn't they? I guess they can keep that. Yeah, we, we'll keep Power. Speaking of four kids, did I ever tell you my conspiracy theory that Mew was originally going to be in the Pokeraft? Oh yeah, because they. Uh... I, I heard I, I because I I recently heard someone talking about how uh, the Pokeraft was really lazy because there's a segment where instead of naming a Pokemon, they just go Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, because it's like a uh, something 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 Pokemon, and and the guy who wrote the song actually said, yeah, we were originally going to have a Pokemon name now, but they told us to take it out. And I think it was gonna be Mew. Yeah, what was it? What was it supposed to rhyme with? You remember? It was. Uh, I think it was. I think it was Kakuna. <laughs> it didn't rhyme with Mew. But if you look at the Pokemon and the Pokerap, a lot of them are are like really. There's they're half rhymes. They're half slant, rhymes. Slant rhymes. Yeah. yeah. It's. Uh, do you think it's more likely it was Mew or Togepi? I think it was Mew. Okay. Because um, I think they said that the uh, a Nintendo of America didn't want to acknowledge the Pokemon yet, and I think it was because. Red and blue had only just come out, and they wanted to keep that Mew mystery a thing, and especially because in the the themes, the ending theme for the Japanese version of Pokemon is it's the Japanese word for one hundred and fifty one. Oh, well, here's the thing: 
didn't Mew show up in the first like frame of the opening of, of every Pokemon episode? Yes, because he's in the Japanese opening. But in Japan, the anime came out after the games, whereas in America, they was together. It's just weird that they would like not edit out that because you know they were. That's true. That's true. Not Do you think that Four Kids was incompetent? Oh man. Uh, to, to be question. real, I wouldn't say. I would say like early on, it felt like they knew what they were doing because. Like, despite that, like, obviously they edited a lot of anime and they, they took away a lot of the, you know, artistic integrity. A lot of it was kid shows where, you know, the point is to make it entertaining to children. So I can understand editing it so that it maintains that in a different culture where it's, it's still doing the same thing. It's entertaining children in the same way it did originally, just with cultural, you know, acknowledging the cultural differences. Yeah. But, and obviously with One Piece, it was just like, all right, we're just like, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Like, yeah, I mean, there, there's been lots of information floating out about it being like part of a big package deal. And, there's And there's a lot of rumors. And I think that the, the problem is that the people who worked for Four Kids later on in the company weren't aware of the story. So they just had to guess as well. <laughs> Cause like they had- You can definitely a, see that. Yeah, a, a vice, because a lot of information came from a vice president at Four Kids who admittedly joined after the One Piece per, uh, shenanigans happened, but he said he believed it was part of a bulk purchase. But then there's other sources saying like, oh no, they were like, um, there was an internal auction for One Piece where uh, Toei was like, there was a bidding war basically between a bunch of different companies. And I know that that actually was a thing that they would do if a title was big enough, was that they'd have like a bidding war, an internal bidding war, where it's like whoever has the best offer gets it. That's true. I mean, and, and One Piece was really big at the time. It was, Japan, it was huge. So. And another thing is that, and this is something a friend of mine brought up who does a lot of um, like research into anime history. He brought up that four kids, the reason why four kids obtained that time slot that they turned into the Fox box Yep. was because the, having a dedicated channel meant that they could negotiate real easily in Japan because if they told the Japanese people, uh, the Japanese owners, we have our own channel and we can guarantee you the show will be on TV because that was something Japan wanted. They wanted to see their shows on TV because that, yeah. that, would, that would blow up the merchandising sales and they wanted to see merchandise sales blow up. And so when 4Kids was able to say, hey, we own a time slot, we will guarantee the show gets played on TV. A lot of the time they just said, they turned down every other offer and just said, here you go. That's pretty good, pretty good uh, negotiation tactic there. It always felt like the Fox Box had mediocre stuff though. <laughs> yes, well, and that's a, that's another thing is that I, it's funny because I grew up with Fox Kids and I remember, despite it having a more childish name, when I think of Fox Kids, I think of like Batman the Animated Series, the X-Men X cartoon, uh, you know, and a lot of stuff like that, really. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> Vision of Escaflone, weirdly yeah. enough. Um, but I think of a lot of those like action cartoons that were like, and a lot of, you know, Canadian animation that was, you know, really, really progressive at the time in the 90s. Yeah. Um, and it, funny enough, when it switched to the Fox Box, which you would think is a less childish name, suddenly it was all very kitty, it felt. Yeah. Um, I, I remember being embarrassed to watch Sonic X, even though I was curious enough and I liked Sonic enough to watch a few episodes. It felt like the packaging was so childish that I was embarrassed that if I didn't want people to see me watching it, basically. <laughs> um, same thing with like Ultimate Muscle, uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. And, and it's weird because they were so heavily editing these foreign shows. And yet I feel like a lot of stuff that you couldn't get away with in anime from four kids, they were doing on TMNT. Like TMNT were fighting with real weapons, but like they had to edit every sword in one piece, right? Yeah, um, what did they? No, they. I don't, I don't think they edited the swords because not the swords. Okay. Yeah, because Zoro was. Uh, I, I guess that makes sense. Zoro always had his swords. Yeah, it was. It was all the guns for sure. Guns for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, they they might have been worried that parents would uh, be uh, like you know a bit more xenophobic when it came to oh it, the kids you you showing these foreign shows to our kids it and wasn't it them. wasn't I'll tell you this it wasn't xenophobia really okay. it, it was uh it was television standards being way stricter post 9-11. oh that made, uh, that does make sense yes uh because and especially because the Fox <laughs> box whereas their uh, Funimation was getting their shit on Toonami which was on cable. And yeah. you and even though they had to edit it, and even Adult Swim had to edit like stuff like there's a couple edits in the Adult Swim version of Full Metal Alchemist. Generally, you get the same idea. It's not a massive overhaul, really. Yeah. Because it's on cable, but on regular TV, you know, you don't you don't get away with that. 
um, and especially after a lot of stuff changed after 9-11 where there was like anything violent had to be toned down drastically yeah and yep and so and and this is my ted talk for why my canadian dub of chainsaw man didn't go through <laughs> still blaming 9-11 yeah 9 11, years later. 9 11 really ruined my canadian localized <laughs> dub of chainsaw man nothing else effectively. nothing nothing else it was osama bin laden 100 <laughs> percent uh, i'm throwing a bed <laughs> i i first of all so you don't masturbate enough i'm gonna tell you this right now because <laughs> No e-girl is going to have two spots in her bed because right. that means she has a, a boyfriend. I'm sorry. You're right. She needs just a... She, yes. She has to have a million scattered pillows. Oh, or, and, or, and plushies. Or one in the center. Um, let's see. Let's put one pillow in the center. <laughs> and also plushies. I think there's lots of... They have they have lots of yes. plushie props so they can do other other topics when tweeting out. And so let's put... Uh, Pikachu. They, they have tons of people. <laughs> They, they have tons of Pikachus. Um, I, I'm going to avoid Pokemon for now just to make sure the point is clear of what I'm trying to do. Well, no, that's even this. funnier because she's like, because it's supposed to, the, what's the quote going to be when she, what, it's that she tweets that image. And what yeah, she, she's going to tweet this image and say, um, would you like to play Pokemon with me? And she's holding like a Yoshi. That. Yeah, but is it, that's exactly what they do. And it's, it's hilarious because if she has an actual Pokemon in the background, <laughs> she has access to one and doesn't realize it. Okay, yeah. There was this game show on YouTube where it was like, find who's the fake fan. Yeah. And it was like a bunch of uh, uh, anime nerds. And it's like, they have to ask each other nerd, like nerd culture questions to find out which one is the fake anime fan. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you asked me, the answer was all of them. But uh, <laughs> but there, there was where one of the things was like, okay, everyone show us a picture of your merch collection. And there was one girl who showed just like, a giant mountain of Nintendo plushies and it was all Mario characters. And I'm like, well, it's her. <laughs> and someone was like, well, there is a Pikachu in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's- That uh, counts, yeah. That's a bit more obscure. Yes. Yeah, well, well it's, that one, that one's anime adjacent. It's in an anime. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna- the, the, It turned out that the guy, it was one of the guys and it was a guy who his thing that he used to prove he was an anime fan was he had a shirt and it was, uh, Guess what funny anime joke was on his shirt, by the way? Um, hmm. I know you'll guess it as soon as you, as soon as your mind settles. I mean, my first thought is uh, Dragon Ball Z over nine thousand. No, actually not. Oh man. No, it was a, um, it was a shirt of uh, Nina and the dog from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, <laughs> you hate that joke I, so it's, much. It's it's just, ah, it's so funny. We've heard it for twenty fucking years. Like, <laughs> like really? It's the one joke. It is the singular. It's like the one. Full like, Metal Alchemist or anime joke. Now I'm sweaty and mad. <laughs> um, what's what's her at username? Uh, what are what are some numbers we can put? Because you know how username should have numbers at the end of it. What are some numbers that would be like associated with Nami? Um, let's start with that. <laughs> okay, let's see. She's usually. I mean, what chapter was she introduced in? I don't know, dude. No, I do know that. This chapter is eight. Okay. But uh, <laughs> she's I, she's usually referred to as number three on the okay. team. Okay. Uh, so here's what you do. She goes by uh, uh, I love maps zero three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think I want that in there. No. <laughs> no, I want to try something. I'm gonna try something clever, but I don't know exactly how to word it. So you know the the currency in in the One Piece world, right? It's bellies. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Bellies and maps eighty nine. <laughs> oh no! What year did what year did One Piece start publication? Ninety eight. I don't remember years, man. Bellies and maps ninety eight. <laughs> bellies and maps ninety eight. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I don't know and anything weird about the term maps. All right, there we go. Oh, and it, see, it works because 98 is the year One Piece started publication, but then also like in current year, that's someone who would be tw what 24 now. So it's like a young girl, you know, like a 24 sounds... year old on an OnlyFans. You'd, you'd see that's the like birth year I'd expect from an OnlyFans person, right? Makes sense. Makes sense. She also, well, her name also needs to have like those symbols where it's like no minors. You know how they put like those symbols in? Oh, yeah. Where it's like 18 plus. <laughs> yeah, let me. Um... 18 plus no chefs. 
Um, I think they just do like it's like an eighteen, and then like a no smoking sign, right? Yeah, yeah it's like uh, eighteen plus. You move this over again. Mm. <laughs> uh, perfect. Um, oh yeah, I need to. Just, no, they wouldn't put the apostrophe. What they no, they wouldn't. They, they'd be. Uh, Would you play some Pokemans? It's me, Yummy. <laughs> Yeah, me. <laughs> uh, and then, um, uh, who you you know One Piece better than me? Who would comment L plus ratio underneath? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who would be best to do that? Because like I don't think Luffy would do it. He's too nice. And then Zoro <laughs> seems too like like he wouldn't care. That's true. Sanji Sanji would simp. Yep. Uh, I feel like if there's anyone, it would probably be Usopp. Okay. Usopp's been, I like the portrayal of Usopp as like someone who's online, who's, who's like always kind of gaming the system. So he'd probably just goof around with that. I'm going to draw a very poor Usopp here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what are the stats on Twitter again? I forget. <laughs> uh, it's, it's retweet, Re retweet, retweet, then the heart for like, and then it's a comment. Then I think there's like a share button over here or something. And something. Hold on. Let me look up on Twitter. <laughs> No, I think I got it. It's a question mark with the number 512 next to it. Oh, uh, there's like an arrow going up with a, a box underneath it. Oh, that's what the share that's what the share is. The universal share sign used to be that arrow. The universal share sign? Universal share sign used to be that arrow. I'm sorry for bullying you. <laughs> My mom made me come over and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you said we have to shake hands and play Star Wars together. <laughs> But that's my game. I don't want you messing with my save file. I don't, I don't want to be here either. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> well, and then you can show that his thing hasn't ratioed yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Showing up and failed ratios. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Any other, so, any so, other things we need to we want to talk about um i did get a call while you were drawing that and uh you definitely did they're not only not happy with my canadian chainsaw man i am going to jail oh okay that, i think that's fair i don't oh i don't want to go to jail <laughs> what <laughs> okay which laws did you break specifically i mean like you know all those laws about dubbing chainsaw man as a canadian i broke <laughs> all of them <laughs> I mean, I know there's there's a couple of them, but dude, I didn't think they were that enforced. Listen, in a post 9-11 world, <laughs> there's not much you can get away with. <laughs> That's true. It is getting play in Canada, though, because they're so desperate for CanCon. <laughs> I just like thought going through my head of you going through an airport and it's like, and you, it's like, <laughs> sir, can you step aside? Uh, want to tell want to tell me if you if you made any dumps yeah, recently? Like, <laughs> you're like pat me down. <laughs> What's this a DVD? <laughs> a demo reel? The How many times do you say A in this? It's a Chainsaw Man guy. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> no, the how times have changed. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's like it's like when you compare like society and you think of like horses and you compare it to cars and how much things have changed. Yeah, we, we do live in a society. Because it's like, because like, like horses are like animals, so they eat food, but cars eat gas. <laughs> wow, that's so deep. <laughs> yeah, this is the level of writing I was bringing to my Chainsaw Man dub, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, now it's it's uh it's been uh, kidnapped and considered lost media. <laughs> the people at the kidnapped. Lost Media Wiki are are constantly hounding the U.S. government. And then there are those people online who feel like there needs to be a distinction between lost media and, and unproduced, un unproduced, media. unproduced media. Yeah, and I keep telling so. them, episode 13 didn't get, we didn't do that. We skipped it. It's not we didn't lost. Do it. We, we didn't, didn't, didn't touch, do it. We didn't touch episode 13. <laughs> we didn't do it. It's not happening. <laughs> I keep telling them. It wasn't real. No, we replaced, <laughs> we replaced the uh, sword demon with an iceberg and, and they just kind of skipped right past it. Yes. <laughs> His name was Harry. Harry the Iceberg? Yes! We went straight to the Harry the Iceberg art. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us today on this episode. Uh, airport security never would have caught you if you had Chainsaw Man on you. Uh, airport security never would have caught me if I didn't have to take my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> that's very high to your most valuable <laughs> artifacts. <laughs> they, got, they were like, take off your jacket, take off your pants. I was like, all right, let me, I'll take, I'll rip my hair out here if you want me to. And they were like, take off your shoes. And I went, <laughs> 
Ooh. Got me again. <laughs> Got me again. Yeah, but why no chainsaw woman? <laughs> That's me in court trying to argue why I shouldn't go to jail. And I just stand up and go, Your Honor. Why no chainsaw woman? And then the jury goes, <gasps> And then I go, I rest my case. <laughs> I'm glad you chose to defend yourself. I, I mean, who else can do it? Who could do it better than me? You're right.